everybody. We Weeble back with a another video. Uh, this is predominantly pickups. Got a few pickups from CX, a couple of other shops, and a little bit of charity. So we'll start off with the charity. And the first find, the first pickup. It's Blu-ray Wizards. Now I've basically bought this because I thought the cover art looked interesting. Paid a pound for it, trade in for two, cost you six pounds if you were to buy it. So I might give it a watch. Possibly trade it on, trade it in. We shall see. But I'm certainly not losing money on it. And I found one DS game in a charity shop, 99p. The game's not up to match but the case is pretty binty, so I might swap it out for one of my higher value games. 99p, not bad anyway. And then we've got Wii Music, obviously on the Wii. Uh, this is actually sealed. This was two pounds in the charity shop. It's got actually worth a lot more than that you know, as open. But you don't see many sealed Wii games, so felt obliged to pick that one up. And then randomly in another charge shop when I was going to a game shop, I found some DVDs and some, as it turns out, a couple of games. And they were all 50p each, three for a pound. So in order to make up the pound, that Pooh's Heifer Lump movie. It's probably about a penny to trade in, but I thought if they're doing three for three for a pound, I'll pick this one up. And then to make the bundle, we've got Lego Worlds, obviously on PS4. I think this one will trade into CX for eight pounds. And Lego Movie 2. Okay, this will trade into CEX, eight pounds. So 16 pounds from a pound, can't complain at that. And the last couple of items from a charity shop was a couple of Amiibos. First we've got Nook, he was one pound. If I wanted to, to trade him in for 10, cost you 15 to buy. I'll be keeping that one. Um, Digby, same for pound. He's only worth about two trade, five to buy if I wanted to. I'll probably be keeping both of those. And then bought a couple of Switch games. I bought WarioWare, get it together. Pick this up from Asda. Oh, it's reduced. Uh, Mario Golf Super Rush game. This one's from Asda. Reduced. They're both still sealed. And Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now I bought this so I could take part in Cooper's World's Mario Kart Challenge check out his video I'll leave a link behind or below sorry for it and maybe put an entry in I did try it on the Wii U but my Wii U seems to be playing up so I had to come out and buy the switch version and then from CX I don't want DS game make 10 I think this was showed by Ho, ho, ho. In one of his videos, it's only one pound fifty. Appears to be a Nintendo game itself. Full complete points already. Uh, add that one to the DS collection. And then we picked up two more Switch games from CX. 
Bell Forest. Don't think there's normally too many copies of this on the CX website. Fancy something a bit different. Attempt to try. So hopefully this will fulfill the bill. That was fifteen pounds, I think. I think it cost you twenty-two pounds a bite now. And another one that looked interesting locally was Slain Back from Hell. I don't think there are currently any on the site, the CX site at the moment. Was this? That was fifteen pounds. I think I paid for that, and I think it's twenty-eight pounds to buy now. So it's kind of switch games that are actually going up in price. And the last pickup, and probably the most expensive thing I've bought for a long time, was Dementium One and Two bundle pack. Now these have been on my Sega Xbox list for a while. Not cheap games. Now these are the Euro versions. I think they're German, but they do have English language on the back. Which is something I'd like to have. Same with the first one, Dementium, English language on the back. Now I picked these two games up for they were £110 for the two. I'd never seen basically the slip case before. I've put this in some protective wrapper. Just a paper sleeve which was folded around the two games. And I think this may have been a promotional bundle, possibly through Amazon or somebody, but can't find anything at all on eBay. So to buy the game separately from CEX, you pay £132. I paid £110 with the bonus bit of paper. I didn't think that was too bad at all. I'll just trade in some stuff for cash so it won't really cost me much at all. So that's pretty much it for this pickup. Hopefully, find something in the not too dear distance future. Remember, have a go at Mario Kart competition, and till then, Bully Weevil signing off. Cheers, stay happy.